Welcome to update one of my DIY laser engraver build. These videos are going to be a bit more casual and a bit more sporadic, just basically whenever I feel I'm working this, I should still have my normal videos up though. Um, basically the goal of this is to create a laser engraver um, out of parts from an old A &A, from my old NA 3D printer. I just took it entirely apart and uh, I don't have all the parts yet, but I can show you what I have so far. So from the NA uh, parts that I won't be using are these acrylic frame boards. I definitely, these are just pretty much useless now um, because I'm going to redesign everything obviously. I won't need any of the 3D printer specific parts like the heated bed and the hot end. Um, that's pretty much the only stuff I won't be using everything else I will pretty much be able to use. Um, I actually, I don't think I'll be using any of these rods here. Um, so these two just, these are just basically um, support uh, really long screws and then these are the threaded rod for the z-axis and then the two linear rods for the z-axis because obviously those engrazers have no height well this one won't some do but this one won't so I don't need those um, so obviously I won't be using these two separate motors either wow they're magnetic what do you know um, parts, uh, everything else pretty much we're using. I've got the board, obviously, which will still run the G-code, LCD, power supply, all the wiring is over here. All the different types of wires and stuff for all that. I pr Some of this I won't use, like, obviously, the PTFE tube, but we won't need that. Um, some of the wiring I won't use because I won't be using all of the stepper motors. Um, I won't be using these bearings here. I'll use these nice, smooth bearings. Um, I, the design of this is still going to have a, um, a moving bed simply because I don't have enough I mean I could order belts um, so I could build a core XY system but I'm not very um, I'm not very familiar with the core XY system yet so I'm just sticking to the original you know bed for the Y and then the gantry for the X axis so I'm just gonna stick to that because that's what I know um, I'm probably gonna build the frame out of just basic uh, 2 by 6 or something like that some type of wood probably scrap wood I have laying around um, but hopefully it will be a lot more sturdier than that stupid acrylic stuff I could buy 2020 aluminum extrusions, but the goal with this was to not have to buy any more parts. I'm already going to have to buy parts for, obviously, the laser. I'm going to need that. Um, everything else I should just have laying around. I got so many screws, so I should be able to use all of that. And, yeah, why this, this isn't metric, so I can't use that. I've done some quick sketches for design. Wow, you can't see any of that because it's overexposed. Good, because they're bad sketches anyway. Um, but the, I probably, I was considering doing a Fusion 360 modeling of the whole um, laser engraver, but of the frame and stuff, but now I'm realizing it's not going to be that difficult of a build. All I need is, to be, I can pretty much just eyeball it um, as far as just actually constructing it, which probably the next video will be constructing the main part of the frame. I pretty much have everything I need. As far as for the laser diode, I was thinking about using a 500 milliwatt laser diode. Um, I think that will be enough to cut, uh, well, engrave most uh, household materials as well as cut some very thin cardboard and maybe some thin foam board. I don't know. I don't know much about lasers. So if any of you guys know if that's overkill or underkill, let me know. Um, but I should be able to use that. And I think what I'm going to do is I should be able to plug that into, let's see here. I'm planning on plugging that into fan 1, maybe it's fan 2, I can't remember, and then using an M106 command to turn the laser on and off. Um, I don't know, I don't know how the wires all work. I'm probably going to have to wire, I'll probably wire directly into the power supply just like you do the heated bed, except um, the switch to turn the laser on and off to open and close the circuit will be on the M105 command. That's why I can just go into the G-code and turn the laser on and off by using that command. This will all make much more sense once you actually see it in action. But um, I will have actually a lot of parts left over, which will be pretty nice to have all those parts left over, mainly all these linear rods and stuff, which will be pretty nice. Um, camera slider. Oh, those aren't long enough to put a camera slider there. So that's basically it for this video. It's pretty short. I'm not, not really doing anything interesting yet until I build the frame, which should be the next video. So I will see you then. I'm Josiah. Thanks for watching. Wow. <laughs>